Sailing is this crazy sport where you can't see most of the things that you're dealing with. You can't see the wind, you can't see, you can't objectively measure the pressure in the sheets or the feel of the boat. And so it's really important to learn how to have confidence in your ability to, to uh, evaluate those things and then respond to them in the right way. One of the foundations of every skill in sailing is your ability to feel the boat. If your baseline of feel is really high, you notice the little differences in pressure in the sheets and in pressure in the foils, and you can be very sensitive to those changes and you can respond effectively when, when little tiny things change. So even though feel is a very abstract kind of topic in sailing, it's one of the most important pieces of performance. And the key to developing it is the same as with any other skill in the sport. You've got to put in the time focusing on the details until they're ingrained in your mind and you can really uh, do it on an intuitive level. The more you can make feel um, like a, an automatic and unconscious thing and the more like mental space you have to make conscious decisions like tactics and strategy. A lot of times when I'm working with a new team on developing feel I'll ask them to focus on a single sensation for a couple of minutes. So something like feeling just the pressure in their toes or listening to the sound of the main sheet going through the block. And I think that as you learn to be mindful of all the little pieces and parts, all the little sensations, the feels, the sounds, you sort of start to develop this type of intuition about what it takes to keep the boat going max speed all the time. You learn to feel when the boat is at max speed and when the boat needs a little something in order to get up to max speed and you start to be able to apply that in order to keep the boat moving all the time at every moment. So Paris and Helena have a, a pretty good sense of feel um, and one of the goals with our training as we lead up to the Olympics is going to be working on sort of having confidence that, that what they're feeling is the right thing and that they know how to respond to all of their variables because even though they're feeling the right things, they're not always confident, they don't always trust themselves um, to, to respond to those things that they're feeling. So the goal today really is to focus on uh, some of those nuances of feel and in particular probably applying some of those on the starting line where those little tiny details become super, super important. So for the first little bit of this, I want you guys to focus on trimming that jib on and then find that perfect moment to release the jib and, and see the boat go forwards, right? So I want you very aware of what is the bow doing. Is the bow stationary right now? Is the bow swinging? Is the bow only swinging because the boat's going forward and we're actually like carving through an arc? Or is it swinging and we're pivoting in place? We're in attack here. Overall, really solid day today. 
Um, we got out there and we got to sail in a little bit more breeze than we'd expected. We got some transitional conditions as well as a good chunk of overpowered and a good chunk of underpowered. And the transitional stuff really made the feel drills even more critical because you had to feel whether you were overpowered or underpowered and then adjust accordingly. So hopefully we get another three days with some nice breeze like today and I think we'll finish out this training block really strong.